assistant na salon na still deal. <laughs> in today's video, I am doing what 10 USD can buy when it comes to popular street food in Freetown, Sierra Leone. So where I am right now um, is Freetown Road and Lumley area. So this is where I'm going to be doing the video and thanks to Queen Sufi for being behind the camera. So um, I have 10 USD in my hand. It's 10 USD is 220 Leone. So this is it. Yeah, they rich. So what are we starting with? So guys, um, the first street food that I'm about to try is called Rice Pack. And according to Sufi, it's very popular in Sierra Leone. So um, what do you use to face Rice Pack? Let me show you. Okay guys, so um, the next popular drink that I'm about to try is ginger. Well, this is the first popular drink actually. But before I talk about the drink, make I talk to you about the coconut. So um, Sufi tried the coconut first and she said it tasted really nice. But then when she tasted the rice pack and then she tried the coconut again, the, the taste was not good at all. So I think that's what happened to me. When I said the coconut was bad, it was because of the rice pack that I had earlier, the Kalama, as we call it in Liberia. So this is the first popular drink that I'm trying. It's called ginger beer. And how much did it sell them? 5,000 lire. We have cold one. We have a cold one. How much did they sell this big bottle? 25. 25. Yes. I show them the big bottle. Yes. This is 25 euros. Ha! I can put them back. You know it's so Yeah. 
I said I was gonna restrict my full vlog to Freetown, but I changed my mind. Now I am on my way to Freetown. I'm leaving Waterloo with Sufi, and this guy is selling cassava rice, cassava bread, <laughs> sorry, on the bus. And he sells it with fried fish and sauce. So you cannot buy the fish alone, you have to buy the fish with the cassava bread and the sauce. Same, you cannot buy the bread alone. You have to buy it with the fish in the sauce, and it tasted really nice. 
this is an unfamiliar um food i have never had this before we don't have it in liberia so it was really new to me and i really like it the sauce was nice they said like that one crew almost fixed it so yeah so the next food that i'm trying is fish balls this is something we have in liberia and most of the times you really see the muslim people cooking it in their soups um we got this for 20 lils and we are actually in longer market right now and i don't look my best so please <laughs> they fix it with a lot of things um unlike what they usually do in liberia so we got some water they call that one tomu and then we got onions we got bitter pepper as i said earlier it is a familiar taste but this one you know tasted more original like you're in a place where they make this on a regular <laughs> and then this is cherry i got it for two leons and it tastes like milk like complete milk so so good um the lady was explaining how they make it but i couldn't really add that to the video because of the sound there was a music playing but let me know in the comment section if you're a Sierra Leonean and this is your favorite snack. And let us know how to prepare it. <laughs> so this is my first time trying cashew nuts. <laughs> Even though I have been um, seeing that when you want to lose weight and you don't want to snack on things that have sugar, you should actually try cashew nuts. And it tasted really, really good. <laughs> I just didn't know that it tasted really, really good. I tried something like Bira before and it had salt. It was salted, but I really like the one in Sierra Leone. It doesn't have salt. So I think when I get back to Liberia, I'm going to buy the cashew nuts from the supermarket instead of buying it from people on the streets because they add salt. So at least the supermarket will give you salted and unsalted. So you have options. But it's just a really nice. I just wanted to keep eating it every day, <laughs> all day. <laughs> like you're leaping with the red beer. I got a bag of water. The water is really, really big. And the plastic is so hot. One thing, though, that gave me a lot of hard time in, like, in Sierra Leone is that I didn't really like the mineral water. I prefer the bottled water because the mineral water didn't really had a didn't really had a good feeling. But this particular one that I'm having, it is uh, much better. Even though they say water, I get this, but... <laughs> Also, please bear with me. I'm suffering from serious cold right now. My nose, everything blocked. But I'm trying so hard to do this voiceover so that I can get a video to upload today. So, please. So, um, this is Zainab. Zainab is the girl making the spaghetti. She's really, really friendly. If I'm not mistaken, we got this for 40 lions. And she even added a dash for us. Um, so, we're getting our check -in. Um, It's one of the popular street food. Even when you're in Liberia, it's really popular. Um, so Zana gave us it with spaghetti. She gave us the spaghetti as a dash, which is really nice. We got raw tomatoes. We got lettuce. We got eggs. We got luncheon meat. Woo! This is my first time seeing the luncheon meat. Yeah, like it's raw luncheon meat. So why? But um, I should have I should have taken my time not to judge because it actually tasted really really good. <laughs> I had a first spoon. I chewed it <laughs> and then I realized that I should go back for another one because whoo, this are good. And I think this is my favorite part of this video, ice cream. So the one um in my other hand, the long tiny one, I got that for two leons. Um, it's like the cheapest form of ice cream in Sierra Leone. And then the blue one, that's the Bomba Yogo, I got it for seven leons. I didn't like the cheapest ice cream, but I enjoyed the Bomba Yogo. And this is King Driver. I don't know if it's the right name. Please correct me. But I got it for one lions. And in Libra, we call it butter cookies. And it tasted like real butter. It was hot. Whenever you're buying this, make sure it's hot. You're going to enjoy it. Whoever well fixed this really fixed it well. So it has been um really amazing trying street food in Sierra Leone. Um, obviously, Sierra Leone has a diverse um food um market. That I'm not able to reach everywhere. But I'm so glad for the ones that I tasted and shared with you. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Click on the notifications bell. So that you can see more amazing videos. From my journey to Sierra Leone. And other West African countries to come. If you would like to support the work that I'm doing. My same wave number is in the description box. And my WhatsApp number is also there. So you can reach out to me to let me know how you would like to support. Bye bye.